Hey, my name is Kenneth from Backyard Masters, and today I wanted to go over with you how to vacuum your Doughboy pool. But before that, I'll go over why it's important to vacuum your pool and why it should be incorporated into your pool maintenance. Vacuuming your swimming pool is a great way to keep your pool clean and debris free, and also a sanitary environment for your friends and family, as well as prolongs the life of the pool. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go over all the pieces needed to begin your vacuuming. First here we have the vacuum handle, which connects the telepole and the vacuum head here. We have the vacuum adapter, which goes into the vac port on your skimmer. We have the telepole, of course, here. And we also have the vacuum hose right below me, here. Okay, now we're going to insert the vacuum adapter into the vacuum port right here below the skimmer. And from there, we'll assemble the vacuum head to the pole. Remember, these two pieces are together. This is the pin and the handle. You connect them to the vacuum head here, like this. It's in. See that? And then, bring in the pole. Connect just like this. Make sure it's locked in. And we're ready to uh, fill up the hose to begin vacuuming. Okay, now that we got the assembly together for the vacuum pole to begin vacuuming, now next we move on to the vacuum hose, which has an indicator here, it has these two. One says connect to vac head, and this one goes straight into the vac port. But first, before we do that, we have to make sure that we prime the holes completely with water, which gives the extra power for suction to get all the power needed to get any debris that's inside the pool. Okay, another way to speed up the process as far as filling up or priming the holes with water would be to use the return shooting water directly into the hose and this just speeds up the process. Okay, now that we are finished priming the vacuum hose completely with water, you want to make sure you keep the hole submerged as you move it over to the vac port. And that's to prevent air bubbles from getting in, which in then in turn would prevent the flow of the vacuum, which wouldn't get the debris as it should be getting the debris because there's air bubbles in there. Okay, now you want to make sure that the vacuum hose is attached to the vacuum adapter nice and tight so no air gets in again. And you also want to make sure that the vac adapter is plugged into the vac port tight as well. Okay, so the next stop would be to turn off your filter pump, which would then, after, you would remove the skimmer lid, which you place inside the skimmer over the basket, which will then create the suction when the pump is turned back on to vacuum your pool effectively. Okay, so now after the lid, in the skimmer basket, or over the skimmer basket rather, we're going to turn the pump on full speed and get to work. Okay, so now that the skimmer lid is over the skimmer basket placed correctly, you'll notice that if you move it, it has some give because there's no pressure being applied now. But when you power the pump on to full speed, we'll see the difference. As you can see now, you cannot move the skimmer lid. It's in there due to the suction pulling from the filtration system. Okay, now that all the steps to start vacuuming are done, now we can just begin the vacuum process. When you vacuum, you want to make sure you take your time. You want to keep your vacuum head flush 
against the floor of the pool. Think of it as you're vacuuming the rug. Take your time, go nice and easy, nice and slow, and you should be able to feel the suction. Move out the pool, let you know that it's working as it should. You would vacuum your dough board pool successfully. Okay, that concludes the tutorial on how to vacuum your doughboy pool. Again, my name is Kenneth from Backyard Masters. You can visit us at backyard-masters.com to visit our online store. You can also comment, like, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification if you found this video useful. And you can come visit us here at 912 Rod Hollow Road in Farmingdale. We're looking forward to meeting you. We hope you have a great day and you enjoyed the tutorial.